Hi, I'm Michelle Bisbee. Welcome to the Culinary Classroom. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a nice basic cheddar broccoli soup. This is a great way to utilize some of your USDA shredded cheddar cheese, um, broccoli that you may have had on the salad bar but isn't quite looking up to par to go back out again, um, or any other vegetables you want to toss in there can go into this soup. So for this recipe, you're going to need some butter, flour, garlic, salt, paprika, and pepper. We have broccoli florets. Um, you have the choice of using milk, cream, or half and half. I've chosen to use milk because that is what will be commonly found in schools. You can use chicken or vegetable broth um, if you want to keep it vegetarian. If you have a high demand for vegetarian options in your school, vegetable broth is a great um, substitute to chicken broth. We have our cheddar cheese, we have onions, and carrots. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our pot on our stove and turn it on. I am using an induction burner, so these tend to heat up fairly quickly. Um, so I'll be paying very close attention to this and starting it out at a medium heat. The first thing you're going to want to do is put your butter into the pot and let it melt. Once your butter is melted, you are then going to add in your onions and you're going to cook them for about two to three minutes until they get a nice golden brown color. All right. So once your onions are in the pot, you want to keep them stir keep stirring them around so they they don't end up burning on the bottom. And definitely monitor your heat. If it seems like they're going to brown up a little bit too quickly, you can go ahead and turn it down. At this time, I'm going to actually go ahead and add in my carrots, too, because I want them to get a little bit softened up, since this is a soup. All right. Now that our carrots and onions are starting to get a little color to them, we're going to go ahead and add in our garlic. All right. We don't want to cook this for too long, because we don't want the garlic to end up getting a burnt flavor to it. So we're just going to give this about a minute. And then we're going to go ahead and add our flour to this. Now, when you add your flour to this, because there's butter already in here, you're basically creating like a roux. And that is what is used to thicken a lot of cream-based um, soups. I'm going to go ahead and turn down my heat a little bit just so I don't end up burning the flour. But you do want to cook it for a couple of minutes because you will notice in a soup that you don't cook the flour out of it. You'll have that floury taste to it. Um, your flour should begin to get a little bit of color on it, and it'll start to almost have a nutty aroma to it. And that's when you know that it's ready. Make sure to keep scraping at the bottom of the pot, otherwise the flour can burn easily to the bottom. Once you've gotten your flour cooked down enough, the next thing we're going to add is the chicken broth, or vegetable broth, if that is what you were using. And now you're going to want to switch to a whisk, because you're going to want to whisk this in to make sure there's not any flour lumps in here. And you'll want to keep whisking until you notice that everything is nice and fully incorporated. And you should even start to see the broth thicken up a little bit. All right, at this time, we're going to go ahead and add our seasoning and our broccoli. So now we're going to want to go ahead and bring this up to a boil, and then we're going to reduce the heat down so that it stays at a simmer and all the vegetables are cooked nice and through. 
which will be about 15 minutes or so. So now that about 15 minutes has passed, and you can visually see that the broccoli has cooked down a little bit, it's a little bit more tender, um, we're going to go ahead and stir in our milk. And once that is fully incorporated, I'm going to go ahead and add in the cheddar cheese. And you just want to keep stirring this until the cheese has a chance to melt and fully incorporate with the soup. The great thing about a cheddar, cheddar broccoli soup is even if it thickens up as you hold it, you can just use milk to thin it out to get that desired consistency that you want. All right, now that everything's looking good, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring it over so you guys can get a good look at it on the camera here. The nice, we got big chunks of broccoli in there. Of course, if you're serving this to younger students, you can go ahead and chop it up smaller or even run it through a food processor to kind of hide that vegetable look. But that looks like a beautiful homemade broccoli cheddar soup. 